protocols are at the heart of any VPN. They ensure that a VPN is fast, stable, and secure. Some protocols are better for certain devices, while others for specific situations. By default, our app automatically selects the best protocol for you. This depends on your location, device, and network settings. But you can also pick a VPN protocol yourself. Simply head over to the Settings tab. If you have some connection or speed issues, changing the VPN protocol might help. Let's start with the IKV2 protocol, the current gold standard for VPN protocols. It's a universal protocol, great for everyday use. It's like driving a Volvo. Might not be the shiniest car on the road, but it sure is reliable. IKV2 works best when connecting to a server near your actual location, but it's also a good option if you have an older device or you often switch between Wi-Fi and mobile data. It's an excellent option for phones and tablets. OpenVPN protocol is widely known for its high security. The only downside is that it's a little bit slower than the others. It's like a tank. It might not be blazing fast, but it's strong, secure, and will get you where you're going. This protocol works best when you're connected to a server that is far away from your actual location. It's a popular choice amongst desktop users, but it's probably not the best choice if you have an older device. Inside the Surfshark app, you'll find two options of OpenVPN, UDP and TCP. UDP is better for activities where speed is necessary, like streaming, video calls, live broadcasts, or games. However, if you want a more stable and secure option, use TCP. It's better for uninterrupted web browsing or file transferring. ShadowSox is a protocol that allows you to become invisible from your internet service provider or local government. Using this protocol would be like driving a car that's painted in camouflage. ShadowSox works best when connecting from heavily censored countries like China, United Arab Emirates, Russia or Turkey. It's also a good option when connecting from a place with restrictive networks like schools, universities or hotels. The downside of ShadowSox is that it only protects your browser traffic. If you want to bypass a restricted network or unlock some content, ShadowSox might be the way to go. Last, but definitely not least, WireGuard. It's like a shiny new sports car designed for speed. WireGuard works great on various devices, especially on mobile phones. It's better for your battery life and it protects you even when you switch between mobile data and Wi-Fi. When trying out different protocols, think about this. IKV2 is a universal protocol, especially good for older devices. OpenVPN UDP is great for streaming and gaming, while OpenVPN TCP is the best option when uninterrupted VPN connection is necessary. ShadowSox will protect only your browsing activity, but it's the best option for countries with internet restrictions. WireGuard is the latest protocol. It's very fast and especially good for mobile devices. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you have any questions, contact our customer support team. If you want to learn more about Surfshark, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching.